Hi and welcome to Learn to Dev. Today we're going to learn how to build a chatbot using Amazon Lex. We'll start by programming simple chat phrases before making our bot smarter using personalised information. All of this will be built and deployed on Amazon Web Services. If you haven't created an account, you can create one here at aws.amazon.com. If you haven't done this before, then pause the video and play again when you've completed the process. Once you've logged in, you'll end up on the AWS console. This is where you access all of the tools available through the Amazon Web Services. The one we'll be using today is Amazon Lex. So what we'll do is search for Lex and go through to the page. If this is the first time you're creating an Amazon Lex bot, your page will look slightly different, but the important thing is that we can create a new bot. We have four options here. We can either use one of the three samples made by Amazon, or we can create our own custom bot. We're going to be going with a custom bot, so click that option, and now we have a configuration screen. We get to call our bot, so I'm going to call mine tutorial bot, and we get to select the output voice. This can be changed at any point, so I'm going to call, I'm going to use Matthew. Hello, my name is Matthew. You can try out hearing different sample texts if you want. The next thing we need to do is set out the timeout. I'm using the five minute default. The last thing you need to do is select no under the COPPA because we're not going to be storing any of the user information. Once all of this is done, you can click create and it will get us through onto our bot page. This is where all the magic happens and I'll explain what each bit does as we go. At the top of the screen is this create intent button and we'll be clicking that soon. But before we do, I'm going to tell you a little bit about intents. An intent is something that a user intends to do or find out and hence the name. These intents can be simple as saying hi to asking what day it is, to complex tasks like booking a holiday. In essence, they are a question or utterance from the user with a response that the bot will reply with. Now that we understand the basics of an intent, let's create one. Click the Create Intent button and we're going to be creating a new intent. We get to name our intent, give it something nice and descriptive so it's easy to identify. I'm going to be calling this one, what's your name, and add that. Now we're on to the intents page. There are two really important areas of this page, the sample utterances at the top and the responses at the bottom. We can start at the top with sample utterances. These are phrases that the user might type if they're trying to find out what the bot is called. A phrase could be something like, what is your name? Or it could be, what are you called? Now we have two different phrases. The really smart thing happens because Amazon uses something called natural language understanding. This is where it understands what the user is trying to say and interprets it as one of your utterances. For example, if we said something like, what's your name instead of what is your name, it would understand that they mean the same thing and would still get us onto this intent. Now that we have the utterances sorted, we need to reply. Scroll down to the bottom and you have responses. We can click add a message and in this box we can reply with whatever message we want. I might reply with, my name is Sambot. And here you have the option to reply with more than one thing. What this does is it chooses one of the options, which makes it feel more realistic and more human. So I'm also going to add in, you can call me Sambot. Now that we have this all sorted, we can scroll right the way down to the bottom and click on save intent. That is our first intent created. To test this, 
What we need to do is look up in the right hand corner to the build button. When we build this, it takes all the utterances that we've entered and it builds those into a neural network that learns how to interpret our user inputs. You can start testing the bot once the build is completed, so we're going to do that right now. It can take up to a minute, so just be patient. When the bot finishes building, we get this test bot latest in the right hand side. This is where you can send messages to your bot and see what it replies with. Let's test it out. What if I say, what is your name? Well, hey, it replies with, you can call me Sambot. That's brilliant. Now we can work on making this more interesting and do more things with it. Now that we've created and tested our first intent, we know everything we need to know to create loads more intents. We could try an intent like, who made you? What is your favorite color? Or what is it like being a robot? Instead of these, we're gonna make a basic hello intent, but then we're gonna make it more intelligent. To create the next intent, we click the blue plus button next to intents and select create intent. I'm gonna call this one hello intent and click add. In the sample utterances, I'm gonna keep it simple and have hello and hi. And at the bottom, I'm gonna add a response of hi there. For now, this is all we're gonna do. So we're gonna test it first. Click save intent. And now that's saved, we can build it. And wait for this to build. Now that that's built, we can test it out in the chat window on the right. In here we can say, hi, and we get back hi there, exactly as we expect. We're gonna make sure that our what's your name intent still works. So type in, what is your name? And we still get back, my name is Sambot. That's brilliant, now let's make this bot more intelligent. To make these intents more intelligent, we want to add personalized information to the chat making our bot feel more real. The way we include this is slots. Each slot has a name, a type, and a prompt. The name is just the name for the variable. The slot type is the kind of information that you're going to store in that variable. And the prompt is the message that the user is going to get to make sure that they send up the information that we want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask them for their name so in the variable name, I'm going to call it name. In the slot type, I'm going to scroll down and Amazon have a lot of custom slot types available. So right down here, we have gb.firstname. So this will accept most of the British first names. And as a prompt, I'm going to say, what is your name? Now this is the exact message you're going to send, so make sure that you use capitals and any punctuation you want, and click the plus button. Now that's all built, we can scroll down to the responses. Now to make sure that we're actually responding with the information we need, we need to include that slot. To include the slot, you need to wrap the variable name in curly braces. So something like this. So now it will reply with hi there and whatever they've entered as their name. So if we now scroll down to the bottom and save this intent, make sure that this tick, this required box is ticked and then click build. Again, now that our bot is built, we can test it out. Start by saying hi and we'll get asked, what is your name? Now in here, I'm gonna reply with Sam. And it's gonna say, hi there, Sam. That's a lot better than what we had before. Now, what if the person says, hi, 
it asks what is your name and I say my name is Sam it doesn't understand what I'm trying to say we can change this by going it onto the settings in this slot when you open it up you have the prompts at the top so what is your name and you also have a corresponding utterance at default the only thing it accepts is just the name so I can reply with Sam or anyone can reply with Claire or Ben or Tom and it will work fine but if I want to say something like my name is then we have to do something different similar to the responses the way we do this is we type my name is and then in curly braces the variable and add that so now if I say my name is Sam it will now if I enter my name is Sam it will look at the utterance realize that the first three words are just the utterance and the last word is the variable it will then take that and put it into the slot without any of the my name is at the start so we need to save this scroll down to the bottom again and click save intent now we need to go up to the top and build it again again we have to test this bot so type hi what is your name and now this time we're gonna say my name is Sam and there we go it's taken out the name Sam and replied with hi there Sam that's much more natural so in this tutorial we've covered how to create an intent how to create the sample utterances and responses we've then made it more intelligent by including slots and making sure that the bot can get the right variable from that information using all this you can create as many intents as you want and create quite a complicated bot that can have conversations and talk all at once if you've liked this tutorial please give it a like and subscribe to get the next in the series of bot tutorials.